Hey guys, this is Spiro over here at portman.senate.gov looking at a press release released last week, December 14, 2015. Portman and four other congressmen are urging the United States Air Force to replace the current fleet of C-130H aircraft with the new C-130J aircraft to ensure that the 910th Department of Defense Mandated specialized aerial spray missions continue safely without interruption. He went on to state that it is critically important that we maintain the C-130's missions carried out by the Ohio Air National Guard units across Ohio. And they cite uh, national security and providing jobs. Taking a look at the C-130 Hercules aerial spraying program, they state that their mission is to provide a large area spray capability to control disease-carrying insects, eradicate undesirable plants, or disperse oil spills. And they state that they're getting busier and busier every year. Now, the typical solar radiation management, or geoengineering, more commonly known as chemtrail operations, are usually carried out by uh, jets, not, not the you know, propeller-type aircraft, as you see here. But these C-130s are also part of, as you just seen, I just showed you, an ongoing toxic experiment on this planet that is having major effects here. Now they state that these U.S. Department of Defense aircraft can spray large, large areas up to 150,000 acres per day. And they're deployed more than 25 times a year for extended operations at locations ranging from southern Florida to Mountain Home Air Force Base, Idaho, from Paris Island, South Carolina, to AP Hill, Utah. So there's uh, multiple different locations spread across the country where these operations are carried out. So I just wanted to bring it to your attention that this is another aerial spraying program. And I don't know, I mean, do we believe the official story? How often do we see the official stories complete, completely bogus? Now this photo here was taken in Arizona. It shows a C-130 clearly accompanied by two chase planes. Now shortly after those planes flew overhead, uh, this picture was taken here and it shows an airborne web-like filament across these power lines here. Now the mainstream media tried to convince the public that these filaments were caused by just cattle gauze. Uh, that's cow band-aids, basically. Now I myself don't believe that story uh, for sure. Uh, cow band-aids, I mean, I'm not an expert on cow band-aids by any means, but uh, that's not what this would look like to me. So the bottom line here is there are ongoing aerial spraying programs, and they can tell you they're spraying whatever they want. Uh, but when you take a look at our environment and the impacts that it's having, uh, it's, it's pretty alarming to me. Now, I'm going to leave links for this, but they say that testing was done at certified labs and they proved that these filaments contain massive amounts of aluminum and barium, some of the very same compounds that are found in uh, chemtrails. So regardless, at the end of the day, bottom line is they are spraying, and they could be spraying whatever they want, wherever they want, whenever they want, and they don't have to tell you what it is and what purpose it is. They can make up whatever story. So uh, these experiments are ongoing. Uh, these five congressmen, are set, they have requested an upgrade to this fleet of C-130s for this mandated Department of Defense Specialized Aerial Spray campaign over Ohio. So I'll leave links, a whole lot more information here. Till next time, this is Spiro. Much love.